Good evening and welcome to the installation of the 10th principle of the University of Toronto Mississauga. I'm Professor Cheryl Regeer and I have the great privilege of serving as Vice President and Provost of the University of Toronto and as Master of Ceremonies for today's historic occasion. Joining us this evening are faculty and staff, undergraduate and graduate students, alumni, campus and governing council representatives, government representatives, friends, supporters, and volunteers from all over the world. Welcome, everyone. I would like to open this ceremony by recognizing the unique and enduring relationship that exists between Indigenous peoples and their traditional territories and our privilege in sharing in it. I went, wish to acknowledge the land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous peoples from around Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Tonight, a number of distinguished speakers from across UTM, U of T, and our external communities will offer their greetings and thoughts on this meaningful occasion. And of course, we'll be hearing from our new Vice President and Principal, Professor Alexandra Gillespie, who is being formally installed this evening. Throughout the event, I invite all of you watching at home to share your congratulatory messages with Professor Gillespie in the live chat. I know that your support and good wishes will mean a lot to her. For those of you who are wondering about the significance of installations at U of T, I'd like to affirm that this is a significant milestone in our history. This installation recognizes new leadership and direction and officially signals the campus's first step in a new chapter. Tonight, Principal will be formally endowed with the responsibilities of her appointment she will take the oath of office and she will share with us her vision for the campus. Our distinguished speakers this evening are Elder Valerie King and Councillor Veronica King Jameson from the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Professor Merrick Gertler, President of the University of Toronto and the Honorable Harry S. Laforme retired Court of Appeal judge and member of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We will also welcome Her Worship Bonnie Crombie, the Mayor of the City of Mississauga, Miss Claire Kennedy, Chair of U of T's Governing Council, Professor Rhonda McEwen, Director of UTM's Institute of Communication, Culture, Information and Technology, and Special Advisor on Anti-Racism and Equity, and as of July 1st, 2021, Vice Principal Academic and Dean of the University of Toronto Mississauga. Mr. Zayed Fahid, President of the UTM Alumni Association. Ms. Mitra Yakubi, UTM Undergraduate Student and President of the UTM Student Union. And of course, Professor Alexander Gillespie, our new Vice President and Principal of the University of Toronto Mississauga. And finally, Rose Patton, Chancellor of the University of Toronto. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Elder Valerie King and Councillor Veronica King Jameson from the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation to officially open today's ceremony. And that would get you the claim of my daughter, Mrs. Sagas of the Credit, Dunjaba. What I said was, my name is She Who Speaks the Truth, Woman Warrior Leader, and I'm from Mrs. Sagas of the Credit. I'm grateful that you've invited me to be part of the installation. So I'm going to start off with a prayer, um, and I'll explain it as I'm going along. Miigwech Nishromis, Ogibi Wase Ajen Nongam, which means, 
thank you grandfathers and we call our grandfathers which is the star people too that we we, we call them the star people um our grandfathers for shining on us today miigwech ni dikit nungam kigishikak wewe na jamin ano kuna wab mag kuna gwi ji ba maris minawa wewe na jiganon nag which means that we look upon each other in a good way and talk to each other in a good way today for what's happening um, as, as this event unfolds because that's how we are supposed to be with each other even though it's virtual right now this is this is how it is miigwech nindaway ma gunaduk which means all of all of my relatives which means the sun and the moon and the stars and the creepy crawlers and the grass and the trees miigwech keish kakama kwe ogi miigyang mamad zawin ogi miigyang miigyim ogi miigyang nibish ogi miigyang masayk minamwa ogi miigyang nasewin so what I was talking about what, what mother earth gives us she gives us life she gives us food she gives us the animals she gives us everything she gives us the air that we breathe just like a woman she gives everything she gives life for our our, our nations and we see mother earth the same i'm going to sing this song and it's it's um it's called the ancestor song song is So that song talks about um, asking the ancestors to come in to help us bless whatever's coming forward and what, whatever we're doing right now and the spirit of uh, Creator. Ani nana bojo bonik dishnikaj anis nao birkoi michisagi dinjiba makwa dorum indao. Hello, greetings. My name is Veronica King Jameson. I'm a counselor with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Welcome to our territory. The Mississaugas of the Credit hold the official land treaty which the UTM is situated on. On behalf of the Mississaugas of the New Credit Chief and Council, we congratulate the new principal for her new appointment. We want to continue to strengthen our relationship with the UTM and we look forward to those new initiatives. Thank you, Elder King and Councillor King Jameson. 
I would now like to welcome U of T's president, Merrick Gertler, who will also administer the oath of office following his remarks. Thank you, Professor Regeer. On behalf of the entire University of Toronto, let me offer best wishes to Professor Alexandra Gillespie on her installation as the 10th principal of the University of Toronto Mississauga. I would also like to extend greetings to all the students, faculty, staff, alumni, family, friends, and partners of UTM on this happy occasion. Since its founding in 1967, UTM has grown from a small college within U of T's Faculty of Arts and Science to a multi-faculty campus larger than many universities in Canada. It's now the academic hub of the Western GTA and a crucial engine of economic and social prosperity in the region, as well as a vital component of U of T's distinctive tri-campus system. Most importantly, through its teaching and research, and thanks to its student body and alumni community, UTM has become a truly global force for good in the 21st century. It's now entering a dynamic new phase in its history as we welcome its new principal. Professor Alex Gillespie is a truly remarkable scholar. Her interests are incredibly wide-ranging, spanning the humanities, the physical sciences, and other fields and she has built up a research enterprise that rivals those in the sciences and engineering, putting her at the forefront of innovation in the digital humanities. Her academic career is complemented by her earlier experience in management consulting, which no doubt is also a factor in her skill as an administrator. And we've seen since she began her work as principal last summer, she is an amazingly energetic, dedicated, a caring person. Alex is a passionate champion of our core values of equity, diversity, and inclusion. And she's inspired a new level of excitement for what we can achieve together. Among the terrific leadership team at UTM, on the campus as a whole, and in the wider university and community beyond. Her leadership abilities are a gift to all of us, as we've seen in UTM's wonderful collaboration with Trillium Health Partners and Peel Public Health to host the region's first mass vaccination clinic. It's an historic and hopeful effort in which Alex's warmth and genuine desire to serve the community have really shone through. Alex, as we celebrate your installation as principal, let me say thank you for accepting this latest challenge in your illustrious and fascinating career. I look forward to seeing what this great campus will achieve under your leadership in the years to come. And I'm very grateful to have you around the table of Vice Presidents as part of the senior team leading the University of Toronto. Congratulations to you and to the entire UTM community on this wonderful milestone. We will now proceed to the oath of office. Professor Gillespie, please repeat after me. I, Alexandra Gillespie, pledge to perform the duties of principal of the University of Toronto Mississauga. As prescribed by law and by the statutes of the university, and I promise to defend the rights and to promote the welfare of the University of Toronto Mississauga and its members. I, Alexandra Gillespie, pledge to perform the duties of Principal of the University of Toronto Mississauga as prescribed by law and by the statutes of the university. And I promise to defend the rights and to promote the welfare of the University of Toronto Mississauga and its members. In the name of the University of Toronto, I now install you, Alexandra Gillespie, in the office of Principal of the University of Toronto Mississauga. And I invest you with the authority and charge you with the responsibility pertaining to that office. Thank you, President Gertler. It's my honour to serve in this role, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with faculty, staff, students, alumni, and the community towards the advancement of UTM and U of T's vision and mission. Congratulations again, Alex. Thank you, President Gertler, for your remarks. And congratulations Professor Gillespie, you have taken on this role during a historic and challenging time, 
and I am personally looking forward to continuing our work and all that we will accomplish together. I now invite our esteemed speakers to convey their greetings on behalf of UTM, U of T, and our local communities. Anin, Bouchou, hello. Chimi Gwech, or big thanks for inviting me to participate and share in this very special occasion with all of you. I feel privileged and very honored. Miigwech to Elder Valerie King and Councillor Veronica King Jamison for opening today's ceremony on behalf of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. My home, which I'm very proud of, and this school's namesake. Miigwech also for the land acknowledgement. And Miigwech for allowing us to share our territory with the University of Toronto, Mississauga, an institute of learning that will now be under the care and guidance of its new principal and my good friend, Alexandra Gillespie. But before going further, I must also warmly welcome to our territory, Alex's family, her two young sons, Freddie and Thomas, Thomas's twin sister, Eleanor, and her elegant and charming spouse, Richard Ogden, another very special friend. No one assumes the duties and responsibility of something of this magnitude and importance without the support of loved ones. Now, let me take this opportunity to tell you a little bit of what I know about the new principal of the University of Toronto, Mississauga, and perhaps a little of what you can expect. As some of you may already know, and as others will soon learn, Alex presents as someone who is sassy, but always speaking from a place of knowledge and brilliance. She will outwardly appear carefree, but she will be focused, always vigilant and protective. She will speak often with humor, but she will also do so with a genuine and serious purpose. She may at times seemingly be irreverent, but she will always be deeply respectful of what's needed and necessary, and she will at times appear to be hectic, but she will always know where she's going and why she's going there. And make no mistake, the University of Toronto Mississauga's new principal is the real deal. Her passion is education, within an environment that fosters the best learning, within a community that is safe and healthy, and in an institution that all will appreciate with pride and remember with deep fondness. The University of Toronto has chosen wisely by installing Alex as principal of the University of Toronto Mississauga. Of that, there should be no doubt. You will all learn and appreciate this in short order. So my sincerest congratulations to both the university and its new principal, my dear friend, Alexandra Gillespie. Now, please permit me in closing to take a brief moment to teach. I can say that the university's constant practice of its land acknowledgement, which feels genuine and sincere, is very much appreciated by Indigenous people and especially by my First Nation. When doing so, however, may I respectfully ask that when it's given, its meaning will always be its intent. That is, it's a recognition of Indigenous people's enduring relationship to the land. It's how everything begins and ends with the land and it's the essence of who we are. It's connected to our spiritual beliefs, traditional knowledge and teachings. It's fundamental to cultural reproduction. Our duty to the land and its care is eternal. It is an act of reconciliation. Once again, Alex, congratulations. I can't wait till, until the time comes when I can give you a proper hug. Chi miigwech, thank you. Congratulations, Professor Gillespie. 
On behalf of the City of Mississauga and the members of my council, I'm honored to participate in your installation as Vice President and Principal of University of Toronto Mississauga Campus. Mississauga values its long-standing relationship with UTM, and I have no doubt that under your leadership, this relationship will continue to thrive, propelling the campus and our great city to new heights of excellence. Your extensive experience in building international scholarly networks will play a key role in developing and nurturing relationships throughout the campus and beyond the borders of UTM. And we at the city will be there with you, side by side, because if we are able to mature as a community and compete on the global stage, we must continue to produce and support world-class research and nurture world-class talent. We must also continue being a place where people want to live, to work, play and learn. A place where diversity is celebrated, new ideas are encouraged and cutting edge research is prized. The future of both Mississauga and UTM are deeply intertwined. When UTM succeeds, Mississauga succeeds. A partner with the University of Toronto, a globally recognized institution of higher education is so invaluable to the city of Mississauga. As it is this unique partnership that will support our knowledge infrastructure, create innovative solutions to today's challenges, provide the foundation for a sustainable future and lay the groundwork for tomorrow's leaders. All of Mississauga celebrates with you and we look forward to working together to continue building both Mississauga and UTM. Congratulations, Professor Gillespie. On behalf of my fellow governors, I am honored to extend a warm welcome to Professor Alexandra Gillespie on her installation as principal of the University of Toronto, Mississauga. By its nature, an installation is both a ceremony and a celebration. It is marked by a sense of history. At the same time, it represents a new beginning. As a ceremony, this event reflects the traditions of the Academy. It recalls the work of those who have gone before us, and it reminds us of the responsibilities the principal will bear as the chief steward of this community of learning and discovery. As a celebration, today's gathering reflects our shared affection for UTM's distinctive campus and our excitement about its future. It affirms our commitment to the mission, vision, and identity of UTM as a place of community, creativity, communication, innovation, and sustainability. Alexandra Gillespie is the ideal choice to lead UTM forward. She is both a brilliant scholar and administrator, and she brings a unique array of experiences to the role. Alex, on behalf of the Governing Council, I congratulate you on your installation, and I thank you for your great work in advancing our mission. My fellow governors and I wish you and the UTM community every success in the years to come. Professor Gillespie, congratulations. I have the great honor of addressing our new Vice President and Principal on behalf of faculty, librarians, and staff. Today we celebrate your dynamic leadership and recognize your deep passion for and commitment to UTM over many years. You are an accomplished and innovative researcher, an outstanding teacher and mentor, and a talented administrator. Your innate curiosity, your interdisciplinarity, and approach to teaching and research, your authentic respect for your colleagues make you a champion of all academic disciplines. You have a remarkable ability to work seamlessly across the tri-campus system in support of UTM, U of T, and our broader communities. And in fact, your commitment to open collaboration has led to exciting new research networks across all three campuses and around the world. As your colleague, it has been inspiring to experience the new directions that you are taking our campus, tackling issues of anti-racism and social justice, while also targeting matters related to equity so that everyone in our community can thrive, grow, and rise up the ranks. Your approach to leadership incorporates diversity and inclusion at a fundamental level 
creating spaces where all voices are heard, respected, and celebrated. As the first female vice president and principal at the University of Toronto Mississauga, you have shattered a barrier and paved the way for future generations of academics for whom the blurred vision of a female leader is now crystal clear. And if that were not enough, you took on this role in the midst of a global pandemic, not an easy task. Yet you have been a tireless, consultative and wise leader throughout this crisis. Moreover, I know I speak for everyone when I say how much we appreciate your commitment to the health and well-being of the UTM community, recognizing the mental health challenges that come with operating in a pandemic over many months. Despite the mammoth task of running a campus during such an unprecedented and stressful situation, you have consistently made sure that every member of the UTM community knows that you are also just a person like the rest of us, doing the best you can during a challenging time. By legitimizing our stress, anxiety, and fatigue, you have shown us the power of compassion and taught us that through courage and kindness, we will win the long game. Professor Gillespie, I don't think you know how much this means to the UTM community. Our awareness that both a highly competent and caring individual is leading the way has been a comfort and a source of pride during these anxious times. We are all stronger with you at the helm. Congratulations once again on behalf of UTM faculty, librarians and staff, and thank you for taking on this challenging and rewarding role. We are all looking forward to continuing our work with you and we wish you great happiness and success. Congratulations, Professor Gillespie. It's my great privilege to bring greetings to our new Vice President and Principal on behalf of UTM's Alumni Association on such a significant occasion in the history of UTM and the University of Toronto. Our traditional way of celebrating your installation may be limited this year, but our reasons for celebrating are not. Whether we're facing an unprecedented global crisis or grappling with systemic racism, the UTM alumni community of more than 60,000 remains active and deeply engaged in the world around us. And like you, we welcome the challenge as an opportunity to apply what we've learned and make a difference for the better as we continue to build a world of inclusion, opportunity, and progress. All of us, despite our different backgrounds, passions, abilities, and careers, are key to building UFT's reputation for global excellence and boundless promise. Despite our current situation, we will continue to volunteer, mentor, give back in support of UTM and our communities. Let us continue to celebrate the personal achievements of our community in the face of adversity and our collective impact on the world around us. Professor Gillespie, I wish you the best as you forge a new path for UTM, and I offer the keen enthusiasm and assistance of UTM's alumni. We look forward very much to accompanying you on your journey. Congratulations, Professor Gillespie. On behalf of all students at UTM, I am honored to bring greetings to you, University of Toronto Mississauga's new Vice President and Principal. As an undergraduate student in my final year, and as the president of the University of Toronto Mississauga Student Union, I am thrilled to welcome such an inspiring leader to this campus. In the short time that you've been in this role, you've demonstrated leadership and resilience in the face of great adversity and uncertainty. And although this past year has been challenging in a way that none of us could have ever anticipated, I'm sure all undergraduate and graduate students share my feelings of excitement and hope for what the future brings. The challenges we have faced may continue, but I am confident that we can work together to provide durable solutions that benefit all students. As someone who loves this campus, I know that your appointment and installation forecasts great things for UTM. I know you will use your education and experience to create new opportunities for students at UTM and encourage us all to excel and use our education to make the world a better place. 
And although I'll be graduating in the spring, you can be sure that I will watch all the developments over the next few years as an alumna. Congratulations once again. I wish you wonderful success in your role as the vice president and principal as you work with the student body to make UTM an even stronger community. Thank you to all our speakers for your warm and inspiring remarks. In a moment, we'll share some thoughts from our newly installed UTM principal, Alexandra Gillespie. But before she gives her remarks, I'd like to share some impressions of her impressive accomplishments with you. Professor Gillespie began her term as Vice President and Principal of University of Toronto Mississauga on July 1, 2020. She is the first woman to be appointed to this position and as we have heard from previous speakers, she brings a keen spirit of innovation, interdisciplinarity and inclusion that has defined her academic career for the past two decades. After completing an Honours Bachelor of Arts at Victoria University of Wellington in her native New Zealand, Professor Gillespie attended Oxford's Corpus Christi College where she earned a Master of Studies and Doctor of Philosophy. She went on to hold a research fellowship at Beloyal College, Oxford and a Mumbai fellowship at Darwin College, Cambridge before coming to UTM in 2004. Since then, she has contributed immensely to our community, both as a professor of English and medieval studies and as an influential leader across our tri-campus system. In 2010, she was recognized with a teaching award at UTM, where she is known for turning interpretation into communal activity. In her classes, she harnesses the interplay of diverse perspectives to produce a layered range of meaning richer than any person could imagine on their own. This commitment to open collaboration has been at the root of her administrative accomplishments as well. As chair of UTM's Department of English and Drama and as an early member of Toronto's Initiative for Diversity and Excellence and as first director of the Jackman Humanities Institute Digital Humanities Network and as UTM's Vice Presidential Special Advisor in Research. She has helped build innovative and vibrant academic communities here at U of T. Her own research on the history and impact of print culture combines tradition with innovation, old books with new scientific technologies. Her expertise ranges from Middle English paleography to micro CT scanning, from the poetics of Chaucer's Canterbury Tales to the fungi on Dung Huang pages. Her numerous publications have uncovered early books corresponding diversity of stories about literatures, cultures, and ecologies across the pre-modern world. In more than 40 articles, two monographs, and six edited volumes, her scholarship has consistently challenged and changed what it means to read the past in a book. Moreover, as a scholar, she is bringing her work to life, challenging and changing the very structure of humanities research itself in her role as director of Toronto's Old Books New Science Lab. Unlike traditional humanities research, where a single humanist works in isolation, the lab connects graduate students, postdoctoral researchers, and university faculty in the collaborative pursuit of literary, cultural, and historic knowledge. This passion for informed teamwork also animates her research and leadership across U of T, including her recent interdisciplinary work as primary investigator for the university's institutional strategic initiative in global book science. We at the University of Toronto are lucky to count her as one of our own and I know she has been and will continue to be a great inspiration to scholars and students alike. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome Professor Alexandra Gillespie, Vice President and Principal of the University of Toronto, Mississauga. Bonjour and greetings colleagues, visitors, those of you watching. Thank you all for being a part of the events today. 
Since my appointment as Vice President and Principal in May 2020, I've reflected now and then on the meaning of the University of Toronto Mississauga's Latin motto, Tantum Nobis Creditum. So much has been entrusted to us. That motto sticks with me because it expresses the sense of privilege, responsibility and reciprocity that should animate the university's highest ideals. UTM has been entrusted with educating generations of critical thinkers and courageous innovators, with discovering research solutions to pressing problems, with stewarding the natural environment towards a sustainable future, with building stronger communities of well-being and justice, and with listening to the truth that comes before reconciliation and working to be good kin to one another. These responsibilities inhere in Mississauga's landscape and in its deep history. I greet you today from Lylehurst, the principal's residence at UTM, which sits on the traditional lands of the Wendat and the Seneca, on the territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Chima Gwetch to members of the Mississaugas of the Credit for joining today's ceremony, for their generosity, their guidance, their continued friendship, for which much is owed. One of Lylehurst's windows, not this one, one over there, looks out over the Credit River, so-called by French and British colonists because at the river's mouth, they traded goods on credit with indigenous peoples, those who had traveled and stewarded these waters from time immemorial. The same history of contact and credit is ingrained in the river's eastern Ojibwa name, Misanihi, the trusting creek. And it resonates in turn with UTM's Latin motto in the word creditum, as a commitment that will ground my term as principal. What I hope to do is to live up to the trust you have placed in me. I also hope to live up to an opportunity enabled by my predecessors. I'm the first woman at UTM appointed to the position of principal. It's a distinction that reflects less on my ability than on the strength of women who fought for the right to work, learn and lead before me, who sought credibility irrespective of gender. I draw inspiration from my late grandmothers, Loma Fields and Iris Gillespie, who back in my home in Aotearoa, New Zealand, would often tell me that they had longed to go to university, but they were not permitted to do so by their families. Along with my parents and my late aunt, Dr. Marianne Fields, who was a professor of biology here in Ontario at Wilfrid Laurier University, my grandmothers, fierce supporters, raised me to believe no educational opportunity should be or would be inaccessible to me. So when I think about that word credit, I remember the women of my family and the hope and trust they put in me. I also find myself remembering moments from my own scholarship. So I'm a researcher of pre-modern books, texts and textual technologies. And the first time I ever paused to think about that word credit, it was because I was interested in the way it was being used by the medieval author Marjorie Kemp. In the early 15th century in England, Kemp shared her story, and it was the first autobiography in English. To do this, she recited her life's events to a priest who was, unlike her, literate, who could write her story down. She did this, as she put it, to give credence to her feelings, where the Middle English word credence there means both a stable, trustworthy belief and a stable, trustworthy document, the book of Marjorie Kemp itself. Kim's story is one of repeated efforts to unsettle the assumptions of a patriarchal clergy, to give voice and sub substance to her extraordinary revelations, and to make her distinct, non-conforming experiences just as worthy of credibility as those of any of her male contemporaries. The trust that I now enjoy as a female leader at Canada's best university arises because women like Marjorie, like my grandmothers, like many queer women, like women of color, worked so hard for credence and refused to settle even after they earned it. I want to use my privilege in the same spirit of determination and improvement. I commit to being an advocate for the University of Toronto Mississauga. I commit to advocating for its mission of excellence in research and teaching, for its capacity to become an even more inclusive place, especially to disenfranchise people and marginalize voices. I intend to ground that advocacy in a commitment to listening, to valuing conversation and empathy as the foundation on which UTM rests. Those conversations will continue to make a difference because UTM comprises so many outstanding people. Students, staff, faculty, librarians, alumni, 
community partners, including our Indigenous partners, to all of whom I'm so grateful. Those outstanding people, which is you, enable UTM to practice pedagogies of kindness and make world-leading research discoveries. You advance sustainability goals, you drive public health initiatives for the common good, you support physical, mental and social well-being of the people around you, and you share knowledge that allows us to sit with truth. UTM has a huge capacity to fulfill the lofty responsibilities embedded both in our Latin motto and in the history of the land on which we now work. Alongside the Misunahi, on the campus at UTM, so much has been entrusted. I look forward to working with you to make good on our credit. Thank you, Professor Gillespie, and congratulations once again. Our last speaker today is Dr. Rose Patton, our Chancellor, who will officially close this evening's events. Thank you, Professor Breguer, and thank you, Professor Gillespie, for those inspiring words, and good evening to everyone. What an honor it is to share in today's proceedings, and I'm so pleased to offer one final official congratulations to Professor Gillespie on her installation. Any time I've been to UTM or interacted with her, I've been so impressed by her energy, her warmth, and optimistic spirit. And those qualities are perfect for UTM's wonderful campus with its rich culture of academic leadership and its community engagement. And they resonate so strongly with my own experience at other events and even my personal encounters across the University of Toronto. U of T just radiates optimism, from its strong values of diversity and inclusion, to its drive to make our world more just and prosperous, to its incredible contributions to knowledge and innovation in every field. Alex, I know you're already making a tremendous contribution to this very positive culture. I watched with great pride as your leadership unfolds at UTM. And I'm sure it'll be a vital and impactful factor in U of T's strengths as a tri-campus institution. On behalf of the entire university, I wish you success. And as chancellor, I look forward to many milestones with you and visiting the U of T, a UTM community. This now concludes this evening's ceremony. I want to thank all of you for coming to this very joyous occasion, and I wish you all a good night.